what's up guys and of course thank you for joining for this video this is definitely a respond video to Xenos video uh, yesterday night and it's pretty early in Sweden I think we're just clocking in at 6 a.m. and uh, I'm basically going to work right now but I really want to make a video like this done because I really feel that it's important to uh, reach out on that very concept that he brought up so before actually watching this video if you haven't seen Xenos respond video to let's plays on Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I'm gonna link that down below and check it out because I really felt that that was a it was a very honest and very you know reach out video about genuine feelings uh, that I think a lot of us shared and actually experienced a lot of doubts when it comes to how you could behave on on the Pokemon community basically and I, I feel that it's it's a very hard thing to discuss because you can get people get so offended by people that are of course as big or you know not big but that has a fan base that they get they have a saying of, of what they're doing and that's why people get offended because they always think they are in the right or a lot of them do it really felt throughout that that the comments that it got from those kind of tubers really they didn't they didn't see it eye to eye to him because they definitely like reflected on themselves like are he trying to hinder me or is he what kind of point is he making and um, that's kind of what I want to reach out on here so like I said check that out that video first so I'm gonna give you some time to do that so right and my own thoughts of it is really very much the same it, I guess from a from a standpoint of being a very very small pocket tuber uh, I myself, um, I don't, for me a pocket tuber has been all about, you know, making quality battles, if you're doing let's plays or, you know, way, 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 way ahead, and um, I guess if you're doing let's plays, uh, at least from my standpoint, if you really want to do those things on Twitch, or you can do it on YouTube on a stream, uh, it seems like they didn't got the feedback they want by doing that, so they just uh, smashed, you know, let's play content. You know, that are very, very lazy content, to be honest. It is as lazy as this kind of videos. I can't really stress it enough. Talking to videos like this are lazy, but it's a good way to stand a point and it's a good way to communicate. Uh, but just doing it for the hell of it, what would you think of me if I just did videos like this? And just posted them over and over again. Like I said, I'm definitely a smaller pop tuber, so people wouldn't have been offended. People would unsubscribe at best, and they just want to go to get want to get that. A lot of people on Twitter that are bigger tubers that I I recently had to unsubscribe to them because they were spamming my inbox. I couldn't find videos I wanted to watch because they were spamming videos that I definitely didn't want to watch, like in-game content of a game that I'm gonna get in a week basically so yeah what we're getting at yeah they were on twitter that were kind of i'm not i can't stress this enough they were bragging about how many subs they were losing because they were doing this instead of you know grasping the whole idea that they might be doing something wrong and they're not staying true to them very selves like why do or they obviously staying true to themselves like if this is really what they want to do but really people you know a lot of these guys got popular for the original content that they were bringing and this was definitely not original by any stretch of the imagination this was lazy 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 work and i it's lazy because of the very reason that they have a 20 minute episode followed by another 20 minute episode of for our let's play channel but what makes it lazy is that you know that they're not checking out the comments and you know, for making videos for the fans, or at least that is how I would see it, and not fans, you guys like me for who I am, but you're not like in love with me by that aspect, you definitely are sharing a lot of love for the Pokemon, and I can I can, con I can have a dialogue with you guys, when I make a video, I make that, and then I see the response from you guys, and you know, I've juggled the thoughts with you, because I care of what you think, and you can't do that when you're spamming videos, because you're so in that thought process of just getting content out that you don't care of what your viewers want to see or what they get from it and that means that you're just doing it for like seen on said there for this from hand this 
<laughs> and I can't stress that enough. Um, that is my genuine feelings because if you can't read the comments and can't converse with your fan base and the people that actually takes the time to watch you, then why the hell are you doing it for? I mean, I make a video a day if I can. I don't. I, I made two videos a day. There's one today. I'm gonna do two videos. Yeah, because this is an extra video in says in here. But what I want to get that is that it's kind of dangerous to just post a lot of content. The reason I unsubbed to so many was because I wanted to watch people that I actually cared for, that I know are smaller pocket tubers. I do care for their content because I knew. I know that they take their fine time to make this thing. It's their hobby. I I can appreciate that. I really can. While the bigger tubers are, you know, I can give them a go sometime. They are worth watching, a lot of them, for the right reasons. But this is not so much. Like I said, be original. Don't do what everybody else is doing. You know, that spam content made you... It made something else happen, didn't it? It made a lot of people upset because you were taking away views from, well, lesser channels that they couldn't compare with that kind of spam. And even bigger tubers here in Europe, they didn't have a chance. I have players that play Showdown here in Europe, which is, they're very good battlers, you know, they have a lot of things going for them that I can watch them because I like what they're doing. And I actually had to scroll down three, four pages to find one of, one of these videos before I have Oras, Oras, or Oras. And it's... I'm trying to be as nice as possible, but for me it really is lazy. And I got really uninspired to keep doing what I'm doing until Oras is coming out, because I really felt that my content was so irrelevant that I even, didn't even get half the views. The, the battle hand had against Xenon, um, a battle that should have been... A very, very special battle, a very huge one that means a lot for me and would definitely mean a lot for you guys who take the time to watch it, of course. Um, it got lost in the timeline. I never had so few views in a video. Never. It was the same day Oras was released. And, you know, I can blame myself because I was late, but I really didn't think people would spam these kind of videos. I really didn't see a reason to go for a let's play as a video clip instead of streaming it. Uh, it just... It just blows my mind that people really... If you didn't get the feedback from the stream, you're really gonna spam it on YouTube? Like, that's the natural reaction? It, it can't be, and you guys know this. You guys are smart enough to know this, and definitely your followers were smart enough to realize this, and of course, made a reasonable thing and did unsub to make a point. A lot of you guys are gonna get your subs back because you're probably gonna do what you were meant for, what you did best, which was uploading Pokemon battles and your own thoughts, you know, the metagame. Things that matters, this game is not. This is a personal experience that I feel is not worth sharing for that reason, is not worth sharing for getting money. And I know you're doing it for that, because you upload so many things. I mean, I, I don't want to be that guy who got all rage on this, but at the same time, it just blows my mind, like I said, that there are people that just... I mean, I talked to one of these guys, and uh, he's a friend of mine who's doing this, and a lot of you guys know him, I'm not going to say his name. But he said that he that was doing it because everybody else was doing it, and I told him that you then you don't do it for you. You do it because you feel that you want to be involved, and I know the X and Y. I was very late to that, so I kind of missed the let's plays, I guess. But I remember that it was so important to be first, and the guy that did that, uh, I'm not going to speak his name, but a lot of hate is coming from him, and he was the community for um for the past months and he is still a, in my regards a douche a peep a person that i have a hard time respecting and like i said he was the face of x and y for quite some time and um yeah i don't know what was up with that so i was really glad of finding out finding people like Sinan, even hayden for me became people that Try to avoid this collide, you know, just doing what they were doing, and um, they stayed true to themselves, they really did. And uh, like I said, this guy who has been the face of um, um, 
oh, what's it called, of X and Y. Uh, I checked out the channel now, just for the hell of it, and my god, it's not okay. Because you're getting new players, you know, new players that really want to come into the Pokemon community. You're giving them this visual, what you are, and how you define yourself, and how a Pokemon player should be. That they have no idea that there are players out there like, I'm gonna say like me, that doing this for fun, that doing this because they care, they think this is a fun hobby. You take that away from me. And you take those viewers away from me. Persons that had no idea that you can sweep with Atropius. The persons that actually did not care for their mascot Pokemons. There are a fo top 5 lists about that. I'm not saying I'm making the best kind of content. I really don't. But knowing that I only make one video a day and I take my time to make that work. It, it takes me one to two hours to make a video uh, with all works involved, and that's quite a fast way of doing it. And knowing that a, pe a person that just played a game just upload the whole, um, the raw form of it, and keep spamming that without win me because he has the fan base and has the um, capabilities of spamming the same type of videos, it just it makes me frustrated and it makes me mad because I know. There are a lot of new people that's gonna come down to the community now, you know, who's going to, and I can't really stress it enough, who is going to see these people that have spamming, and they're going to think that these are the guys that are the face of the community, and when they're really not, they are broadly hated. <laughs> no, they're not hated, but they are not that respected because they're doing what they do right now. And I had that feeling with a lot of players when I started pocket tubing. These guys were what I would find the people that I found when I searched for Pokemon Wi Fi battles. Had I known better, I would not have subscribed to them because they were. They really didn't care for the viewers. Never did, never will. And you, I know a lot of you guys know exactly who these guys are, and uh, yeah. I'm actually quite ashamed that these guys are such a huge role of the community. I really am. I'm not gonna stress any names, but <sighs> there are a few guys there that definitely, definitely define themselves this weekend, and I hope that's gonna retrospect on their whole Pokemon career this season. So, with that in mind, guys, like I said, if you still haven't checked out Xenon's episode, definitely do that. He's, he had a very powerful statement, and this is why I make that video. For that very reason, I think he definitely nailed it. And I think I, I could definitely care for it. And I really want you guys to care for it. And, you know, and spread this word. Don't do this to us. Please. We don't need this. We're all our professionals here and making content for our viewers. And by doing stuff like this, you... Our name as a pocket super gets very very filthy very fast and it takes away a lot of creativity for a lot of good viewers and a lot of good pocket tubers that are not that big who me needs to make it and you're taking away that chance for them and I don't think that's okay whatsoever so with that in mind guys I don't wanna go with that I really wanna tell you guys as always you know the sky is the limit of course I'm back or as is going down this Friday not gonna spam let's plays whatsoever because I respect you guys plus I feel that it's a personal experience I really do um, I'm a Wi-Fi battler and you know that so I'm trying to get through the game as fast as I can probably on gonna be done with it on Tuesday Wednesday I still don't take my time to care for that game and since the um, content on its own is so much alike X and Y, I'm not gonna have any trouble bringing up a team, you guys know that, so I will be back on track before you know it. So with that in mind guys, thank you as always for watching, and have a good day, and take care, alright? Bye guys.